Hey guys, this is Eric with Simply Vegas. Today we are touring this home right here from KB Homes. This was gonna be Nighthawk at Summerlin. This was gonna be the 1560 model. Actually, I apologize. That's just the street name number. It's gonna be the model 1720. So yeah, this one has 1720 square feet. This home has a lot to offer you guys. It comes with the coupe two car garage, has three bedrooms and it has two and a half bathrooms. And yeah, this is a two story home. This one comes with the high ceilings as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's start heading on inside. You want to mention my website, guys, where you can see all active homes for sale inside of Las Vegas. Feel free to check it out down in the description below. Yeah, this is the entrance that we are greeted with, with this beautiful living room with the L-shaped sofa that we have right here. And as well, we have the kitchen. I gotta say, I love these light fixtures that they use for the kitchen. You also got your quartz countertop right here, granite. So yeah, I just wanna show you guys all the views of this kitchen with the island. Over there we got Jason as well. He's just outside this one right now. Let's take a look at this dining table right here. Yeah, let's look at this light right here. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Are you thinking of purchasing a home here in Las Vegas? Down in the description, I have a free relocation guide that tells you everything you need to know about Las Vegas, from the communities, to education, to recreation, and even current market trends. We have some counter space right here, right next to the fridge. We also have a pantry as well that I struggled to open. But yeah, this is a nice and open pantry. It has a decent amount of space and a lot of shelves as well. And one thing I do want to highlight as well is the fact that this pantry has a pretty high ceiling as well. Almost the same, or the same, as the rest of the home. So yeah, that's where you can have to touch your TV, set up your living room with that L-shaped couch. Yeah, that just about does it for right here. Let's see if we can open up the garage. As you can see, this is where the garage would be. You come with the side door right there, easy access. Yeah, that's why they have the sales office right now. Let's start over here. So right here, you have the first bathroom. As you can see, there's gonna be a half bathroom right here on the first floor. And you got some storage right here for the stairs. And it goes along the side as well. Box. Light turns on. It's always a plus when the light works. So that just about does it for this first floor. I do want to highlight that there is no bedrooms in the first floor. So you know, that's the thing. Especially if you have someone older living in the home, sometimes it's better to have a bedroom downstairs just so they don't have to always go up and down the stairs. But yeah, as we make our way to the second floor, you actually have like a loft area that connects to the master bedroom it looks like. And then you have a little walkway over here that leads to the washer, dryer. So yeah, we'll start on this side. Take a good look at this loft. It's a decent sized loft, and I love this setup that they have right here. Definitely not hard to set this up. And looks like you got a little bit of storage right here as well. Oh, yeah, they have some towels in there. You can use that for whatever you would like. And I do want to show that it has the high ceilings as well. Part of your view at some point in the future 
but if you were to get the model size that is maybe more into the corner or it just has great view that doesn't get blocked by other construction then that would be great as well yeah let's make our way into the master bathroom so you got a him and hers kid bathroom sink right here and you got your full shower right there seating spot as well and then you have your closet in here it's gonna be your walk-in closet so yeah, it has a decent amount of space you have access to your electricity over here as well and you have your own little room for the toilet so i always love when they do this guys when they put your own little room where you can use the bathroom Still potentially have someone else to you know, wash your hands or go in the closet or whatever they gotta do. Right here you're gonna have some extra storage where you can put all your towels as well. And as you can see it also has the high ceilings. Let's take a look. Sorry about that guys. Had a little malfunction on the gimbal. But yeah, that just about does it for the master bedroom and the loft that we have over here. Let's go check out these other bedrooms over here. So it looks like we have two or three more bedrooms to take a look at. So yeah, it's gonna be one of the bedrooms. Let's take a good look. Here in front of your yard and it doesn't look like you have access to outside but there is the little dog park right there we have a closet as well set on over here here you have your other bedroom bed right there and then you have a closet as well and it also comes with that high ceiling let's take one last final look let's head on over here here is where you have access to washer and dryer and they have some shelves right here. It's just a real easy door right here that you can just close and leave it. So it's out of sight, out of mind. Open that up and you can do all your washing and drying. And right here is going to be the last bathroom. So yeah, you got the sink right there. It looks like you can almost sit there, possibly put on your makeup up if you're a girl, or if that's what you do. And then right here you got a bathtub shower shower bathtub full set that you need so yeah that just about does it for upstairs i do want to show you some final angles some final views of this upstairs before we head on downstairs and out into the backyard and i do gotta say that the backyard that they have set up in this model looks very beautiful i love all the greenery that they have in there so let's head on downstairs Take a look. Yeah, that's gonna be your view outside right here. Alright, let's make our way to the backyard. See if Jason is still there. There he is. Let's open this up. What's going on, Jason? There you go. Yep, almost. Just want to show you guys this backyard. They put a lot of plants over here. And you have a little area right here with some fake grass. And let's take a quick view of the strip over here. Let's get one final view.
I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions on any home in Las Vegas, feel free to let me know. Hit me up. And down in the description, I have a free relocation guide that tells you everything you need to know about Las Vegas if you're thinking about moving over here. So always have a great rest of your day. Talk to you guys soon.